I am currently in Xining. Very excited. And I have spent quite a bit throughout the morning and a little bit of afternoon to actually settle in. And I'm currently going out to meet someone um, that is quite exciting. And we are planning to actually wander a little bit around Xining. And we'll see. Um, I'll be spending four nights in Xining, so hopefully there will be plenty things to actually do, which the reason, which is the reason why I'm spending four nights here. And I really love Xining. Um, I don't know, I just love it more. Um, so yeah, I'll try to keep you updated a little bit later. Bye. people which are Muslim Chinese Muslim that is wearing the white cap as well as the hijab and in comparison to the one in Incheon and um, yeah it's just different because in Xining they also are famous for the Tibetan uh, monks so it's a mix of both cultural and religion situation um, and then surrounded by mines you just see that one yeah it's been quite a humbling experience to be quite honest just to see um, I know in Inchuan we do also have the mosque and a lot of the Muslim but here it's a lot more obvious and tangible I've seen it everywhere people that actually wear the headscarf as well as the white cap and um, they've been curious enough <laughs> and they thought that I'm Malaysian um, even right now some people are staring at me because I don't look like local but um, I don't know, I think I am very much touched and humbled by the opportunity and the chance that I've got to actually see China differently, um, not only to the biggest cities that people would actually would travel to, but also the other parts that has been untouched um, by the international traveler. So yeah, I'll try to keep you posted later. Bye! And that's Mariam. So we're actually we're going. Where are we going? No, 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 no,
and surrounding. So, so I'll see you again later. Bye. Sad face. Mm. Sad face. We're trying to get into an old building, but then yeah. they say that we cannot enter. It. Made of jade, but uh. we could not enter apparently because then people got killed here before. <laughs> well, what's the point of them like opening it, right? I don't know. Mm. Well, it's like a really old sightseeing spot, I think, mm. and then it was open for a while, but then because of some bad things happening, so Probably. they closed it now. Probably. So people just come here, you can buy a souvenir here behind us, and then you can leave again. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is Maria. Um, she has a quite interesting story. Um, do you want to tell about your story? Probably you're in, um, well, practicing to be comfortable <laughs> talking in front of yes. camera. Uh, well, I came to China in 2015 okay. to study, mm -hmm. um, and I was well, I was planning to. That was supposed to be the start of my around the world travel. Okay. But then I just really liked it. Okay. And I extended my semester twice. Uh -huh. I was here for a year and a half. Uh huh. And then during that time, I also traveled. Uh huh. And um, got married. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Korean <laughs> love story. Um. And now I live in. Yeah, in a village. Yeah. Quite close to Xining, about yeah. half an hour. Yeah. Which away. is something that. Very few people, I don't think very few even, like it's very rare um, to yeah. find um, Europeans, foreigners, Scandinavian, no, your yeah. country is Scandinavian, right? Yeah, um, it is. Um, to be living in a village in China, people mostly, because I live in Inchuan and a lot yeah. of people are asking, why in Inchuan? <laughs> like, yeah, a lot of so people, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 and a lot of people would be like, people usually go to the bigger city yeah. the first year and everything, and this time, Marsha is living in the village because of love. Yes. So it's been quite a full day, um, I mean I started late but um, it's been fun walking around um, and I only visited the mosque, I had a lot of chat with Lina and uh, Mariam, it's been fun, we are trying to get our dinner after this and I think I would like to say goodbye right now, we are definitely going to leave for the countryside tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that. And definitely I'll put you along the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!